suppose we should. Not so fast, Roach. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. What does that mean? Who's this guy? Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. He'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. I posted a number of signs, warnings, specifically to prevent anyone from coming to any yeah, harm. It's still well, killing a lot them. of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. So, what do you mean? You, you pay these guys off? Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? Keep quiet. These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill oh, or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. Hmm, your coffers. Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by <laughs> your beast? Naturally, I cannot refine He's totally the dead, justified it to but himself. But I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns. Oh, no. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. So, there's more going on here. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Oh, okay. Your cast? It's Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs. That she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. And so who, like, what's your background? Where are you from? Who exactly are you? And how'd you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. English, please? As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to see this thing. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course not I have an idea. Me. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Yeah. Those are not toy swords. I know your <laughs> intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. 
So I might also look for the other corpse. I don't think it's safe for this thing to be around. And even though it's like he's looking after it or whatever, I still Basilisk feel... Basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Oh, Alas, that's good it know. is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. I am sensitive to the idea. Um... Scale. Colors unusual. Silver? Never seen one like this. I am sensitive to the idea that this could be like, you know, one of the last surviving of this species. Strange. These burn marks. Beasts venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Golden Oriole could help, maybe? Busted barrels. Contents spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Your cocoa is that. so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. I don't necessarily believe that. Happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. Okay. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Well, let's see if that's true. If we do find this thing, I don't have any sense to follow. Um, let's read this, the glossary entry for the silver basilisk. Um, here we go. So, Golden Oriole, as we thought, um, Draconid Oil, and then Ard and Igni. Geralt always liked looking for things, at things that don't exist, be it a vampire with a human heart, or the last basilisk of a species which, that no scholar has classified. Discovering something thought not to be there to be discovered, or thought not to be there to be discovered, caused him great pleasure. That is why he took an interest in a contract which at first glance seemed banal, or banal but proved to be very intriguing. It concerned the last basilisk of the nearly extinct species, Regulus platinum. The thin scales covering silver basilisks are thinner than those of their more common brethren, making them thereby easier to burn. The igni sign will thus prove very useful in a fight against one of their number. Yet, one must be especially wary of the monster's venom, which is much stronger than that found in their widespread kin. Okay. Just in case, let's get the Draconid Oil. I don't have a lead yet on where this thing could be, and I don't think we have a quest for it. Oh, yeah, we do. Here we go. So, I guess we were going to be led here at some point, um, but we kind of stumbled on this while going through the Wine War stuff, so... I'm gonna go look, and this is great. Is this guy following me? Yeah, he is. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna see if if it doesn't, if it just lets us kind of be there. And as he Odor's says, dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day then uh, we'll probably just leave it be, but... Sense perceptible again.
Uh oh. Just as I expected, second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Something frightened it. Oh. What's this? Dear Gaston, in reply to your question regarding the planned transport route for the barrels of Tannin, allow me to confirm. The official itinerary supported by the guild still goes through the lands belonging to Count de Salveris. The board sees no reason to deviate from our traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Great White Terror. So even in the case of the destruction of the entire cargo, the guild will suffer no monetary losses. I'm assuming they're referring to this basilisk as the Great White Terror. I hear something. Yeah. Hear something. <laughs> but it's no basilisk screech. Human voices. What the hell is going on here? Something in the skulls of air is not about to roost in its nest with warriors on the prowl after it. Oh, Crinfred Reavers are here. What? Yamo, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off somewheres. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny. About to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Absolutely. Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the other? Got a little bit you? of a history. Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, <laughs> Kennet and Desperate. New boy, too. Oh, new boy. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. He's not wrong. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something or a Oh, fine. this guy's not gonna Could like this. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose <laughs> the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast Jeez, be. This guy's got you cast cannot slay the last living specimen of a near extinct subspecies? Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? As far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Oh, this is such a tough call. Oh. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. Yet. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah. Oh. No scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but. You made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. I'm too and intrigued the word by this once thing. Given? I hope we still get to go see it. Your share, would ya? <laughs> Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, Witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. Godspeed, boys. Now, the argument here is going to be while well, witchers are for you slaying spared beasts, your cast. But... I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out of this area. That I shall do. Master, you must accept more, be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. It's okay. I'm not convinced that I'm not going to kill it anymore. anymore. Rather you paid it out to the families of your pet's victims. Noble of you, master. I shall take the advice to heart. Your cast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. 
It's an oh. ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your cast could lay new eggs. Perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. Sure hope not. <laughs> Take care. Well, that's an interesting way of dealing with that. We haven't had the opportunity to do before. I'm to deliver a lecture soon before the Beauclair Nature Society. I shall mention you, Witcher, with the utmost possible veneration. So I guess we're not going to be able to get to see this silver basilisk. But I wonder if... What if? What if we just... Rested here a day. Let's just see what happens. See if it comes back. It's not looking like it. Hmm. Okay, well... Didn't work out exactly as I planned. Um, that's fine. Move it! This mouse thing is there for some reason. I don't think that's normal, is it? That's re it's really bugging me that it's on there. I don't think it's supposed to be. Something down here, perhaps. Yeah, I think we've got to go, go under. Go. Okay, this is bothering me, so I'm going to try and. There. Okay, it's gone. Now, let's get our decoctions going. Oh, it's, it's people. Humans don't stand a chance. Like, it's almost unfair. Oh, right through the chest. Thank you, noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bang titlers kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any herbs, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Yeah, I can go. Lead the way, right behind you. So it seems like we've solved all of the quote-unquote problems um, at Coronata now. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Sure. Show me what you got. Okay, so she's got some dyes. Oh wait, Potion of Clearance returns all ability points spent to develop abilities to the available pool so you can redistribute them. That's not a bad idea, actually. Just to have one. Potion of Clearance, Potion of Restoration. Oh, mutagen points. Okay. Man, I'd really like to get these, but they're expensive. I guess we'll just have to remember that she's here if we ever want to redistribute that. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can, 
It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of well, coming out of the got that problem cleared shelter. up for you. Thanks. See you later. Okay, so now we definitely want to go and find the place that's mentioned in the letter. Uh, it's really far away. So... We're going to travel to here. And then we'll jump over there and see what the heck is going on. could even go the right way too that would help natural instincts always go towards the yellow unless it's snow <laughs> okay so this is where these guys are uh, we do not want to talk to them here they're still arguing but what we want is to, in fact, go way down here and see what this key opens. The dais in the machina. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got rates here. Where is the Spectre Oil? Yep, last one. that's just unrelated and it only has to do with something that we're passing through maybe that's the case there's something up there though that's not why we're here it's funny how we just casually take down a wraith and move on it's not a big deal. The things we've seen, man. Search the warehouse. Bunch of dyes. What? Oh, are you serious? Come on. Only one, but tight quarters. Okay, let's throw on the correct thing to deal with this. I think it's cursed, if I'm not mistaken. Crushing it! I'm stuck. Whoa. Arcaspore saplings? It takes a degenerate to cultivate something like this. Need to incinerate them before they spew spores and spread. I 
hope that's enough. Okay, site of stock taking. Vespin Arcaspore Hatchery, codename Mushroom Farm, near Tesha Mutna. Count Vladimir Crespi. Stock under review. Vespin Arcaspore Bulbs. Uh, six dormant bulbs, 24 buds without sprouts. Changes since last stock taking, minus 12 bulbs. Six transported to Coronada on Count Crespi's orders, and six transported to Vermentino. So this Count Crespi's been planting these things at both of those uh, places. Important. Some bulbs are now too mature to be safely transported. These should be burned, otherwise it will sprout in the hatch. That proves Count Crespi's behind the sabotage at both vineyards. Yep. Gotta tell Matilda and Liam. Awesome. So now we can tell both. This is... This is great. This is kind of how we've planned it from the beginning. Except we didn't know that, um... We didn't know that there was, like, a third party that was doing it. We just knew that something was going on and we were going to eventually confront them about it. There we go. Uh... <laughs> oh, Roach, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happened to you. Hopefully it's curable. Think you can do whatever you please? Oh, no, 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 we're cool, we're cool. So guess what, guys? Oh. Guess what? Master Witcher, have you any news? A bit. This vineyard, Belgard, why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. Mm. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. Okay, As a man of wealth sense. and influence, he guided it to immense success, brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers, and sabotaged I shan't other trouble you with unnecessary details. Vineyards. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. <laughs> One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh... The most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait, just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? I know it sounds impossible. It's the optimal solution, yes. <laughs> but yes. In terms of the health of the enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. That's not all. The troubles at your vineyards? Solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's high time you saw Belgard. Witcher, come with us, please. Something <laughs> tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. Oh, I'm sure that you will that you will. I'll join you later. But I'm definitely going to check later. in. Need to tend to something else first. Okay. Interesting. That was kind of cool. A little mystery that we uh, solved and we did it in a way that I'm pretty happy with. Um, 
Yeah, very cool. Okay. Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, uh, maybe we'll go to Belgard. See how things are going there. And uh, see how these two are working together. I doubt that they're working very well, but hey, who knows? We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.